You should have healthy boundaries that you don't allow people to cross, but it's different than putting expectations on them, okay? To have a boundary is to talk about what you will accept in your life and what kind of behavior that you will or will not tolerate. It's all about you and your decision. To have an expectation is to say that this person must behave this way and that you're going to be upset or disappointed if they don't do that. You're putting a pressure on them. Okay, I know it might seem like the same thing, but it's very, very different, right? So for example, let's say you have a girlfriend and you put an expectation on her that she needs to not cheat on you and she needs to tell you where she's gonna be and she shouldn't talk to other guys and that she should just care about you and not be interested in any other guys, okay? That is an expectation and, and let's say that she violates that expectation. Let's say that she goes and she's at a party and she gets drunk and she makes out with some guy, okay? I'm not saying that there's not gonna be any emotion involved. I'm not gonna say that you're not gonna be upset at all, but it's a much different thing when someone has aggressed against you because you had an expectation on them and they didn't fulfill that expectation. So you're disappointed in them versus uh, someone aggressing against you because they violated one of your standards or boundaries which is not an emotional thing, right? When we allow people to be free, we also free ourselves from the pain of, of trying to put expectations on people because the truth of the matter is that people will never behave exactly how we want and people will let us down and they will do things that, that they choose to do as free agents, just like we do things that other people would not want us to do. But regardless, we, we choose to have people in our lives or not, all right? We, we don't have to base our worth and how we feel about ourselves based on whether or not someone has met our expectations. So we can release the expectations, but we can still have a standard for ourselves and our relationships with people and for people that we are gonna associate with and have relationships with, and we can still have boundaries. So now we come full circle to talking about this in, in terms of friendship relationships, right? He said, you know, I have a question, how can a friendship or any relation can grow with without expectations or simply how to build strong friendships without the expectations. Then my answer, you know, is pretty simple. You, you probably will have gathered it by now if you've been listening to the video, which is this, is that the best